is being needed. We've investigated all we can around here. I suggest you head to closer to the tower. To the scene of the crime at last. I say, this is very exciting. Ah, I need to ex Ah, ooh, Nix! I need to explain to you how we, we move around during the investigation, don't I? At the bottom right of the screen is an investigation mode. You'll see a shoe button. Pressing that or Y switches from investigation mode to location mode. The orange flashing marker show points on the map. I can't trade Nix where we can move to. Pick a location you'd like to use to visit and press A over the display. Some information about the place in question. Then simply press A a second time or press move to go ahead and move to the location. An exclamation mark at a particular place indicates that you should head there next for the good of the investigation. Looks like you can get inside the Elizabeth Tower from the entrance there. So let's go over there and see what we can find out. There has to be a way to get the, to get the speaker at Samus, right? The clock tower housing Big Ben that resi presides over London. No entry without permission. The entrance to the clock tower looks to be over there. Well, the police officers seem to be examining something. Let's ask them what they found. Oh god. First, investigate everything. Wait. Wait. Apparently, the cell's architecture is called Gothic Revival. Now that we're so close to the tile, you can't actually see the clock faces, can you? Aha! I knew there was going to be a hint coin here somewhere. I don't think you can get entry to the tower from inside the play, or palace, or whatever I thought so said there. I didn't agree. Yes! Hint coin. So let's start with you. What the? One, two, one, two. Oh, hi there. Perfect weather for a run, isn't it? It must be a pleasant place for jogging here, will you? With all the green space. Yes, I love it. I've done 50 laps already today. 50? I'm Gudrun. Oh, I just saw her name. Gudrun. By the way, I've been running in cities all around the world. I just can't get enough. I like marathon and other events, but ordinary street, city streets are my favorite place to run. I just love exercising as I watch other people going about their business. I like doing puzzles to exercise my brain too, and to keep my mind off my aching muscles. I just came across a great one actually. Try it. Oh joy. Bubble blast. Oh, and this one's even more difficult. Joy. Shoot bubbles from the cannon to burst all the bubbles floating in the air. To pop bubbles you need to form a chain linking bubbles of the same number horizontally and vertically. The chain must contain at least as many bubbles as the number displayed on the bubbles on it. Press and hold A to pick a bubble and move into, the, into an empty space. Ammo is replenished after each shot but you need to burst all the bubbles within the maximum shot limit. To reposition an object in a new location, press and hold A over it to pick it and move again move. Move it to where you'd like it to be, just release A to place a new location. In some puzzles you can use L and R while you have A pressed down to rotate the object you're currently holding. The amount it will rotate from puzzle varies from puzzle to puzzle. Okay. Oh my god, why? The bubbles on the left are the ones you have not, have not been fired at. Press and hold A over a bubble to pick and move it. If you move a bubble over the board and then release A, the bubble will be fired from the cannon into the square you're, you placed it. Oh. The number displayed on the cannon shows the number of shots available. Bubbles you have shot already are replenished, so you can shoot bubbles. On the same number multiple times. There's a limit to the total number of shots you can fire through the cannon though. Okay, let me try something. Ah, 
Um, there's a pretty good chance I may have messed this up already. Correct. Because you know, me being me. Yeah, no, I already messed it. I can already tell. Oh, thank God! It allows me to undo as I wish. Thank Christ. Much, much, much later. I somehow solved it! Mm, this should do it, I think. I have no idea how it did that, but okay. I'm still annoyed that I lost those pick rats. Is there, there has to be a way to recover them, right? You did it, all the bubbles have popped. If you don't get the order right, you run out of shots. You soft bubble, three bubble blast, yeah. Yes, that's a nice one. One, two, one, two. All right, I'm ready to push on. Beat the pain. Ah, good luck. I'm going to stay in London for a while, I think. There are a lot of places around the city where I'd like to run. I want you to make sure I can... Uh, wait, sorry. I want to make sure I see as much as I can while I'm here. Okay. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. Bye then. Hello, Miss. Um, let me see. Oh yes, that's right, Miss Lace Layton. Inspector Hastings mentioned you. He. Um, ah yes, here it is. You're assisting with our investigations, I see. So you're here to share information and resources. Thank you, officer. That will be very helpful. Another on the ball detective, isn't it? Yes. This is DC Nick Booker, one Inspector Hastings man. Nick Booker. Thrown into the profession, was he? Perhaps you'd be so kind as to tell us what you've learned about the case so far? Yes, well, according to our inquiries, it seems they, there has been an outbreak of, um, ah, yes, of metal theft in the capital recently. Ooh, that could be a cool. Metal theft? Mm, yes, I think that's what it says here. S yes, metal being stolen from factories and warehouses. Really? What on earth would anyone steal pieces of metal for? Some metals are valuable earners and thieves can sell scrap metal for, for them for a high price. Yes, according to my notes here, the missing clock hand was made of, um, oh yes, here it is, a very valuable metal that would fetch a good price of soul. So we're continuing along the, this line of investigation. I see. Metal theft. Well, thank you for your help, DC Booker. Don't mention it, madam. I'm just doing what, what it says here in my notebook. Oh, wait. Oh, come on, it's right there. You found a cool metal theft. So this is the to Elizabeth Tower. Gosh, a metal door. I wouldn't be surprised if that metal door was, you know... I mean, I can just save. Also, just to save. Ah, it's so annoying! I'm after to restart the game. I'll probably do that after I finish this chapter. Hello, 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 Miss Layton. Inspector Racing has instructed us to give you full cooperation. Wonderful. So I don't need to explain. Could you just tell us what you found out so far? I'd be glad to, Miss. We have ascertained that on the night of in question, that being last night, there was no one here. No one at all. Not even a janitor. Sorry. Not even a janitor or something? Correct. 
There is a room behind the large clock face is known as a clock room. However, this room was locked overnight. So is a clock tower always empty overnight? Except for when works are ongoing, yes. When the servicemen are in, they sometimes work late apparently. But last night the servicemen knocked off early it seems. So there was no one around who might have seen the thief. Sorry not to have better news for you. Now we've spoken to the investigation officers, I think it's time we had a look outside the clock tower. But it's locked, in, but it's locked isn't it? Should we talk to PCBT, do you think? Excuse me, PC. Oh, police cadet. Would you be so good as to allow us entry into the clock tower? Why, yes, of course. Inspector Aces gave us instructions to cooperate fully with you, Miss Layton. Step right in. Thank you. We'll, come, we'll all come in if we may. I must warn you. It's a long staircase when you get inside. I hope your leg muscles are working. Oh, um, yes. And you know what? I I don't like this. The 13 hint coins, the 89 pick rats. And you can have multiple save files, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'll stop the recording right here and continue afterwards, because honestly. I am ticked, I'm a bit ticked off with this. It's annoying me. Later. Hey guys, and I'm back, and as you can see here, 95 Picarex, 14 hit coins, I didn't use anything. I am so happy about that. Metal theft on the capital, yeah. Honestly, it was gonna drive me nuts if I... If I didn't have a perfect score, I'm sorry, I'm just like that. Oh my god. I can already tell the puzzles are gonna take forever for me to do. And I don't want to use any hit coins and I don't want to use any miss any picarets. The house had a great clock mechanism in the Elizabeth Tower. Ah, ah, golly. Ah, what a, ah, a lot of stairs. My feet are. Ah, killing me! Ernest, uh, Reeves, uh, you should be uh, ashamed of yourself getting uh, tired of so easily. You're betting harder than he is! Oh look! It's spectacular! I've never seen the internals of the clock tower before. Magnificent! Being inside such a huge and important landmark like this is rather splendid, isn't it? The clock face and the cogs are so enormous. Yes, it's quite exciting being allowed inside a place that is off-limits for most people. Alright, you two, get over yourselves. Ah, I just remembered something I forgot to mention before. Oh, what's that? Sometimes, as, you, as you're investigating, you come across something unexpected. Unexpected, miss? Yes, as you're moving in the magnifying glass around, you might notice a peculiar disturbance in some places. Like a puff of dust, almost. When that happens, be sure to investigate thoroughly, even if the magnifying glass hasn't turned orange. Look hard enough, and you're sure to be rewarded. So make sure to investigate all those nooks and crannies carefully. Let's give it a try now. Wait, I thought it changed colors here. No. I know it's here, but I want to see if there's anything else. No, that doesn't seem to be. You discovered a reddish, reddish wristwatch. It's been added to your collection. A collection box has been added to Catriel's bag. There, there you can pursue items that, have, that you found during the course of your investigation. 
The items are unrelated to any particular case, they are just for fun. So enjoy them at your leisure. Oh, okay. You never know what you might find while you are hunting for clues, so leave no stone unturned, Ernest. Not one, Miss Layton. Very good. So let's get back to the task at hand. Uh, I think perhaps there's a serviceman over there, look. Oh yes, you're right. Let's go ask him if he has any useful information for us. The collection fish has had to catch back, yeah. What the? Where did you come from? Jesus! Hint coin, nice. Oh, the mechanism is as vast as well, isn't it? And it keeps sticking despite being one hand down. It's lucky there are three other faces showing the correct time. The people of one room lay on the big bed to know the time. Yeah, no, okay, we. Oh no. Both hands present and present the correct on this face at least. Oh, both hands present and correct on this face at least. That would be a good, good puzzle, wouldn't it? I'm a face but I have no eyes, no ears and no mouth. I do have hands, however, however what am I? As it happened though, there's a different puzzle here. Look, you wanna try it? Well, I am personally an assistant of the great detective Miss Catriel Layton, so I ought to tackle a puzzle or two from time to time. I did not see that one coming. Houses of Hanoi A new design of houses allows you to arrange the floors however you like. Just select a building to hoist off the topmost, off the topmost floor with a crane and move it to another plot of land. Your task is to make all the houses look as they appear in the plan plans. However, houses can only have a max of 4 floors max. Ah! Oh! What is this here supposed to be like? Ah. Can I? No, I can only move one at a time. Okay. Honestly, I. No, wait. You need to go here. So you can go here. So you go here. No, wait. There. I have a feeling that perhaps... That's a relief. I wasn't entirely sure. Oh, thank Christ. It was a number of moves, but I didn't need to do it as a minimum requirement. That's, that's a relief. You did it. Both houses look spot on. Puzzle 4, Houses of Hanoi. I wonder if that's a reference to something. Maybe the name of that puzzle is Hanoi? I don't know. I'm, I'll see later after it works, so I am recording. It has been added to the puzzle index. Good work, Pinstripes. You're coming back some respect here. Why, thank you, Cheryl. While merely a personal assistant of Miss Layton, I do hope to prove myself useful in the puzzle solving department. I really don't remember saying I wanted a personal assistant. Oh dear me, miss. Please don't reject me. What enormous cogwheel. I suppose they're necessary to drive the huge clock, clock hands. The machine all seems to be in working order. Keep your pros away, well away from the machinery, people. Those cogs bite. The cock faces are so vast, it's really rather strange seeing them from the inside. But apart from the missing hand, there doesn't appear to be anything out of the ordinary. 